Alright, you're doing alright. Little game here, here there on the Cell Cow playing ASMT. Last time we did swivel, and today we're gonna do more. On Cloud9, I have a. I guess it's a very bad story. It's not really a story, but I feel like indicates some weird. Wow, that's a pretty good use of my hit here. Very. Very proud of my decision-making process. So I remember. All right. So back when uh, LPs were in the apogee and LPs were going on everywhere at all times, I remember. So I don't remember who it was, but I remember that sometimes I'd randomly look at people, you know, LPing this game, ASMT. And I remember at some point, like, I don't, I forget who it was, it, it was a small, smaller elf here, like, it, it was a person not a lot of people know. But I remember just catching a video of there, it was randomly this level, and dude was just safe scumming, hey, okay, sc safe scumming from hell and back. Just like, constant, start select, all day, every day. And he would keep saying that everything was Kaizo. Like every other obstacle that I've encountered right now in the thing I just kind of slept walk through. Like he was declaring everything Kaizo. Kaizo this, Kaizo that. I feel like people got- whoa. Way too used. Yeah, I, I messed that one up. That, I messed that one up. But I feel like people were so used to the idea of safe state and just not ever any ever having any like repercussion for mistakes and whatnot that uh, it just poisoned the mind of people. Maybe I'm overreacting. I probably am. Here we go! This is such a cool spot, but it's very different than the sky wicker basket that comes before. And you just kinda like Whoops, randomly abandoned the whole, hey, it's cloud nine, let's cloud it up, y'all. Alright, forget about that, now it's Tofu Man. Tofu Man and Aqua Bro, together at last. Finally, signs of things to come, I'm sure. I'm not sure what's the supposed projected ideal motion there, but I guess now I'm doing this. I believe that, like, every power-up where I'm getting a beat, like, I would've gone a feather, but, hey, it's fine, woohoo. I jumped with my head being out, so I just went off the screen, woo, jeez. Yeah, there was no dodging that with the motion I was in. Oh, shoot, this is hard. Whoa! Like, this is legit. Go take the down path if you're playing casually. Although the down pound's a secret exit, right? So there's a certain logic to it. You get rewarded with a slightly easier pathway, and also a green switch. If you take a secret exit. I mean, I am absolutely 100,000% knowledgeable that that's accidental in terms of balancing the route and whatnot, but it's still kind of nice that it turned out that way. So yeah, there we go. Cape here, but you eat apples every day, which will... Ah, no, this is hard. Ugh, okay, I'm good. I'm gonna spin here, meekly. Her, uh, t -t -t -ah, yeah, there we go, video games. I destroyed your child. It has now been rendered into dust. I just kind of skipped a lot of it <laughs> by gliding. But that's just the smart thing to do is a thing. Like, that is the intelligent way to do things. All right, here's a priest. Yeah, here's a part where you gotta, like, go fast. So you just kind of have to swing all around this love. Remember back when love frogs were orange? I don't know, it doesn't mean much. As I said, once upon a time they were orange. Whoa, okay. That got me. I was on top of you, but not enough. Flying through the baseball sky. Whoa, and that's a football guff. Guff? Yeah, sure, why not? Check it out, I'm here. Orienting myself between all of these silly things being tossed my way. Yeah, every day, here we go. Cloud 9. 
there's less than nine clouds. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, no, yeah, difficulty is definitely getting cranked up, but not to the level where you're gonna be shouting, This is Kaizo! This is Kaizo! Like all the time. Like, I don't know. Like, after that video that I had seen on that day, I basically stopped looking at looking for ASMT LPs, other than if they were played by people like I already knew something. And this is how you can affect other people's appreciation for a hobby without really wanting to. If I remember correctly, this level was submitted without a name. <laughs> and so Yoshi Cookie Zeus just gave it that mess. Or is it a level afterwards? I don't know, but I remember this being a thing. Why like, this level is a thing. Although, I still love that it took cloud- Yeah, yeah, inside a cloud. Cloud means icy caves. What are you talking about? Woo, yeah, I did not have the forward momentum the game asked of me there. And, uh, you gotta keep your forward momentum. And I didn't do that. That's the result. Hey, there. So, what is a Fariel, you may ask? It's a... I forgot. Like, those little... They're not, uh... Bactrician, you know, the white with red, like, gills? They look like that. It's a very good description I'm offering. <laughs> you know, they're that. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop, I say, doing it. Not whooping it up. Oh, there's another beat. Yo! And a red shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Corn guides are always accurate. And that is Charlie. Ice field is accurate. Look at a uh, Ferba. He's having the time of his life. Meekly going down the hill. He's like, yeah, that's right. This is the day I'm making it. That pipe is how you come back. That shell is how you come forward. By the way, did you notice that coin trail going up? I didn't. <laughs> it's the kind of thing you just kind of learn to remember because, boy howdy, did I not notice that at first. Alright, gotta be careful because, yeah, that's gonna pop. Whoa, we can't stop. Alright, here we go. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now we are in the frozen cave, but we're on a cloud inside a cloud. I guess that's how the flavor would go. Gonna bop that money and the frog's gonna go away. That's how it works in swamp times everywhere. So if you don't know, this music that's playing here, the cave theme from A Love Story, one of my favorite video game music of all time. So yeah, its presence here isn't too surprising. What is surprising is how I just keep getting bopped in the face by dumb things. It's gonna happen. Well, there we go. Now I'm big. I can get another thing bopped in my face. It's very much a kind of auto swallower level where you want to be kind of in front always so that everything kind of misses you all the time. Whoa, look at that guy. I barely looked at that guy, but look at that guy. And now you're going pie, you go somewhere and you eat some fries. Put him in a container, then forget all about them. Okay, but if I forget about them, then I'm not gonna eat them. Uh, was that my problem? Oh boy, okay, well, uh, not how you would probably expect it to do this. Oh shoot, wow, right on the ball, right in the baseball. Couldn't have baseballed it more if I tried. Something you can do, if you wanna wash your own shoes, is you do that, and then the, the shell goes away. Dude, uh, your speed on the cloud is not great. It's all about knowing the blind spot. You know, this being nodal scroll, if you always do the exact same thing at the exact same space, always, you're always gonna get the same results. It's the magic. Like, that's one advantage of auto scroller in a, like, in a harder level. Is that it's going to be very like you're going? It's going to be easy to have very predictable results, and in a harder level, like predictable results is exactly what you want. Whoa, shocker! All right, so here's a puzzle. There we go. <laughs> like you can kick the shell and bounce on it, but ejecting the guy. 
just a lot smarter. Cause then he crawls around on his open mouth and you do that, I'm gonna kick away my shell. Because if I'm holding a shell, there's a non-zero chance that, like, I end up, like, clobbering the guy I jump on. And if you die, he's like, can't jump on his head. Like, you learned this in home, home ec in, like, seventh grade. So, you know, think about it. Yeah, there's this tiny little baby... No, this is a level that didn't have a name. Okay, so the person named this, it's this one. Hey, it's a very sky place dangerous. He named this after, like, my Skype profile at the time, which that is, uh, Heaven the Sky Plays Dangerous is something I missaid at some point, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, it's another balloon levels. I don't know if you notice, but the replacement graphic for the balloon is a hamburger. Hamburgers make demo float. Everyone knows that. And there's a false note there going, ah! it's the best thing. Alright, I believe that when I did this the first time, and I did... I went at a door, which leads to a Nalpernet level instead. Uh, well, there you go. This is the uh, Get Balloon and Frederick exit. Well, there's just one exit, because they all lead to the same place at the end of the day. This place they call Differmifuge. It's just a bunch of Yoshis here. Taking up space, I think that's a spiny. Whoa, bullet wall, bullet wall, and now we got an auto generator of just a bunch of fish. Gonna see you later. Oh man, there's a break there in the graphic. Um... All right, so this is pretty harsh because you're in an auto scroll and you need to get that bridge going. <laughs> don't have a lot of space to work with. Like, that is genuinely pretty hard. I feel okay, so World 3 is when we get genuinely hard things happening. That's fair, I have a time limit, so, you know, take that into consideration. And I remember that the path you have to cross is, like, ah, shoot, not nah, shoot, is pretty long, so you can just press it early. Yeah, so, uh, having some good times here. Get out of here, I'm gonna burn the flames of perdition. I'm going to hop and swim and turn. Can't believe I got hurt there. It's kind of like, whoa. Invincibility frames, here we go, not just for bosses. Just jumping in my water here, don't mind. God dang it. Wait, but how did I think I was gonna cross there? I don't know, I didn't think. You don't have time to think. Dang it! And these jumps are like super tight, like a lot tighter than you think. Really? All right. Game ain't free no more. Hey, but see if you start here. Even if you take the other path, you start here. It's like, what? Where am I? Here? Uh oh. Makes sense. Alright, let's, let's see. That! Ah! So, what happens if you press the P switch early? Uh, let's find out together. Yeah, see, like, you, you run out of time. You need to wait before you can press it. It's. I. <laughs> I don't know if it's hard on purpose. That's my take. <laughs> the P switch a little bit later. Well, yeah, like the trail is like way over there this time. I can't. I think I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be more than fine. I'm gonna be super okay. No worries, Charlie. It's still it's a it's, it's a weird thing. Like once you know how to do it, it's fine. But it's been ten years, so I forgot. <laughs> you know what can I say? Uh, I'm approaching the twenty minutes, and this castle is kind of serious. I remembering it a bit that way. 
So... I'm actually gonna be cautious and, you know, stop after three levels. Wow, cow, cow, being lazy here, huh? No, so I guess tomorrow we're gonna end three and possibly start four? Looking that way.